quicks. Seven dollar rebate on that. Today we're changing oil on a 2007 Yamaha R1. We're going to be using Shell Rotella T6, 5W40, and a Wix oil filter. Wix. We are swapping out from a K&N oil filter on purpose because you cannot use the K&N oil filters on the track. For more information on that, watch our full oil change video up here. I'm using a four millimeter Allen wrench for my fairing bolts. To access the drain plug and the filter, you have to take out this bolt and this bolt. There should be a bolt there. Removed. This piece of plastic slides into that notch and you pull it back. Really? All right, the drain plug is right here underneath the oil filter. Have you seen the videos about people doing oil changes and not getting any oil on them? Yeah. Blue. Look at that. No oil on the hands. I'm a pro. <laughs> pro professional. One thing that's nice about the K&N oil filters is there's a nut on them. And it's the same size nut as the oil drain plug on the Yamaha. One thing to remember to do after you're done doing an oil change is to clean the oil off the exhaust. And off any engine parts. Yeah. And always double check when you fill, pull an old oil filter off to make sure the O-ring or the gasket is on there. Because if it sticks to your engine block and you put the new filter on, it will leak really it bad. It will blow out most likely. Really bad, yeah. The oil cap is on the front brake side. Easy to find, engine cover, oil cap. This would be your crankcase cover right here. Plastic cap comes off and these should have an O-ring on them just to help seal. Once they get, if they do not have an O-ring on them, once they get hot, the bikes get hot, it will start pushing oil just slightly out of here and you'll think you have a leak when really you're just missing your o-ring for your cap which would be a leak all right why did you record me open taking the cap off it's cracking open a cold one dude. oh okay it's always important to put some oil in your filter before you install it the oil will bleed down it'll go through the filter membrane the other most important thing you can, the most important thing you can do while doing this is to coat the o-ring with lube with o, with the The most important thing to do here is to coat the o-ring with engine oil and then putting oil in the filter is also a good practice. And just to double check, make sure your gasket, o-ring, whatever you want to call it is off the block cuz I don't want to find any sudden leaks when I put it back together. You'll be cleaning your whole bike down. Oil filters are safe, hand tight, because heat, expansion, contraction, and pressure will seal it. You hit all the buzzwords on that one. Not suction, but pressure. Okay, all I have here is my half inch oil, please, not less than 15. The oil drain plug is torque spec is 31 foot pounds, but 31 foot pounds has caused the oil pans threads to strip out. If you're not replacing the crush washer, do not torque them to 31 foot pounds. If you are not replacing the crush washer, 
go ahead and snug it up and do a quarter turn. If you are replacing the crush washer, do a half a turn. This part, I'm just taking brake clean. You can get it at any auto parts store or home and garden store, anywhere. And I'm just taking it, I'm gonna use a rag and spray off the excess oil so it doesn't burn on my engine or exhaust. Doesn't need much. A dab will do you. I wish I just had fluids on reels and bulk tanks. That way I could just set the gun at, you know, three quarts and just... We've put two and a half quarts in now. The oil capacity is supposed to be 3.1. So we're going to check it now to make sure it's not going to be above the sight glass. It does take a little bit of time to get the oil, once you put it in, to drain all the way down to the oil pan. And you've got some, you got it in there. Now that we've got roughly a half in, it's a little bit less now because the bike's not straight up. We're going to start it, let it run for a little bit, maybe 15, 20 seconds, and then shut it back off after about two, three minutes, check it again, and you'll most likely add once oil gets into the filter and other parts like that. Drain. And we let it drain into the, back down to the oil pan, so we're gonna add a little bit more. And you can see oil, and you can see how it's coming down the oil sight glass. That doesn't mean it's full. It's full when it stops. These things are high rated, so I make sure I get the right one. That's why <clears throat> mine's usually slightly overfilled. Right. So right here, you can see it's halfway up the sight glass, and the bike is level, not on stands, on flat pavement. Then you're done. And then you're done.